So here we go, this is my first play of AEW's brand new video game and we're starting things off with Chris Jericho and John Moxley inside the Double or Nothing Arena. Of course this is not that, this is WWE 2K19 but you could very well be deceived because the creation suite in WWE games now, whether you like to admit it or not, is so good that you could make this game look like it's from a completely different organization. And that's what we've done today with AEW. Now the reason for this matchup and the reason why I'm talking about an all elite wrestling video game is because TNT Drama, the network which AEW are signed with and will be showing their weekly televised shows with, they tweeted out this, tag a friend who would have stayed up all night playing this with you. Hashtag AEW. Now this tweet came with this picture of an old school N64 box for an AEW video game. And you see Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks and Cody Rhodes gracing the cover. And every time there's a hint about an AEW video game, it always seems to be old school. And this ties in once again with that WCW vibe because you cannot forget WCW versus NWO Revenge, one of my favorite wrestling games that was on the N64. And then after that, we had WWE No Mercy, which is listed as one of the best wrestling games of all time. So maybe it's a case that All Elite Wrestling, if they do decide to create a video game, they will be very different and go old school with that old style look. Now, would that be something that would appeal to you? Because um, I don't know where I remember this from, but I remember reading, I can't remember where, to be honest, but uh, that Kenny Omega has a good relationship with Capcom and he potentially wanted to make a game with Capcom. So then we'd have like an All Elite Wrestling Street Fighter vibe game. So that would be completely different. That would be something we've never seen before as such when it comes to a wrestling video game to take that route. Maybe if Capcom were going to do it. But I also recall an ICW game that was in development and I don't think it's ever going to reach um, going on sale. Um, I haven't heard anything about it for a long time. If you search on YouTube, you can find the trailers for it, but they were very early days and they were going for this N64 style too. So it's still very relevant that people want that old school engine that we had with the N64 games. and. Even more recently, we've seen a WCW mod which has come out, which is almost like a follow up to WCW versus NWO Revenge, an updated version, if you will. So, you know, it is still in the back of everybody's mind that those games were so good. But would it be right for AEW to go that retro? And who should they link up with in terms of developers to create their own video game? Because we've seen the complete difference between uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling's Fire Pro Wrestling, which is developed by Spike Chunsoft. And then, of course, what you see here with 2K and a WWE video game. WWE going for that realism and then... Fire Pro going for more of a, um, I'm not sure what you could kind of class it as. It's more retro with the look, uh, a classic style, but it has more playability in it in terms of the modes. So whereas WWE Games is focused on that simulation based style game, Fire Pro can give you um, some outrageous outcomes. Um, and if you are looking for that more serious aspect, Fire Pro might not be the one for you, particularly graphically. So, you know, at the moment, there is a market 
and an opening, a gap that I see for another video game. In fact, there's plenty of gaps and we've heard recently that Yux are looking at developing their own wrestling IP which is going to rival the WWE 2K brand. Again, I'm still not entirely sure how all that's going to work out. How WWE would be happy with Yux still working on their game but then working on their own. It must be under the WWE umbrella for sure and I think it's going to be something like an All-Stars video game. But I'm just very interested to get your views and opinions on an AEW video game. What would you like to see and who would you like to see it come from? Because we cannot, you know, discount the big boys like EA. I mean, they could be in there. Electronic Arts, you know, they've done very well with their USC brand. I actually love so many things about UFC 3. The commentary is on point. Um, I like the way the knockouts look. It does feel very real and the crowd, it feels like you are inside the octagon. That's my opinion and I play both games. I know if you actually go and ask UFC players, I'm sure they'll say, well there's loads of improvements that can be done from an EA perspective. I wouldn't go with EA, but um, when you do make comparisons, there are things that 2K do right, there are things that EA do right, there are things that Spike Chunsoft do right. So, you know, what do you think is the best option? So there's so much to talk about when it comes to this subject. And I'm sure that if AEW decide to throw their hat into the gaming ring, they won't be short of offers from developers and companies that would like to take this project on. Because AEW is making all the right moves at the moment. They are a hot prospect and it would be a natural pro progression to step into the gaming industry. And I think what they'll do is they will get a few more pay-per-views under their belt. Then they'll see how their weekly TV goes. If that's all successful, then quite possibly the next step is to develop a video game with their roster. And from what we saw from Double or Nothing, their roster is looking pretty stacked. They've got great talent to promote the game, like you're seeing here, John Moxley and Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, The Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes, the lowercase talent as well looks really good like we saw from the Battle Royal, so many prospects there. You've also got Hangman Page who's going to be challenging Chris Jericho and that AEW Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line at All Out. Think of the arenas that could be created. You'll have Double or Nothing. You'll have their TV arena at that point. You'll also have as well uh, the All Out arena. So the All In arena. I mean, I could go on. There's a ton that could come with this game. And it just depends who should pick it up and what style AEW should go for. Should they go for this retro style like TNT Drama tweeted out with that N64 look because that seems still relevant people still hold that game in high regards you know revenge and of course no mercy so that could still be an option should they maybe look towards a rival developer of 2k like electronic arts one of the big boys maybe even Yux. never say never but you know I want to get your views and opinions on this. Who should they go with? What style of game should they go for? Maybe they should go for something completely different. Like I said, with Capcom. Be an innovator and be very different. But have your say. I hope you enjoyed this matchup. And also, I want to get your views and opinions on AEW and a brand new video game. I want something new to play. Do you?